Oh boy, it's happening. We're playing Pokemon Volt White. Um, I've had to re-record this like four times because the game was like, like 20 FPS for some reason. But it looks like it's fixed now. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go straight into it. Um, if you don't know what Pokemon Volt White is, it is a hack of Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. Well, Blaze Black is for the Black, but this one is for White. And um, what it does is it changes all Pokemon's stats, moves, and abilities to make them not bad. So, you know, I could use a Pokemon like Raticate and it won't be completely trash because it'll have actually good moves and actually good stats. Um, a lot of Pokemon have their types changed too. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of different things. It's also um, a lot harder than the normal game. Like, I just played Pokemon Renegade Platinum made by the same guy, Dreano. Go check him out, his Twitter's in my description if you, because he, he has the links to all of his games on his Twitter, so go there if you want to play any of his games, he's made a bunch of them. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just start. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure that's that's really it. Um, I am doing a Nuzlocke of this, because I don't feel like playing the game through normally. Um, I thought a Nuzlocke might be more fun for me. But, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, and you should, um, it's just, if I'm gonna catch one Pokemon on every route, and if they faint, then they're considered dead and I can't use them. So as soon as we get through Professor Juniper talking, we can just go straight into the game. I do already know what starter I'm gonna pick, and that's gonna be Tepig. I, uh, Ember is actually my favorite of the three Gen 5 starters, because I really don't like Samurott. I think Superior is alright, but it could be a bit more interesting, I don't know. The grass starters in every game are usually the worst of all three, like, that's not even because I dislike the grass starters, which isn't true, I, I love a lot of the grass starters, they're just worse. Like, the only grass type starter that's been good competitively, like, ever is Venusaur. Every other grass starter is, like, sucks. Including the new ones, which is kinda sad, because I think Decide is awesome. But yeah, anyways, I'm going with Tepic. And um, there, there's like one change that um, that it should be immediately obvious. Well, not immediately, because it won't be that type immediately. But Embor is not a fighting type in this game. It's actually going to be Fire Ground. And um, I actually am going to, just like I did with my Ren Renegade Platinum playthrough, I sped up the whole time just to make the game go by a bit quicker. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do this time too. So, I guess we'll just start speeding up now, there's no reason to wait. Plus the nice thing about picking Tepic is everyone gets their colors. Bianca gets Snivy, so she's, cause she's green, and uh, Churin gets Oshawott, cause he's blue. I don't know why that amuses me, but it's, it's nice. Okay, we can check Tepic right now. It has adaptability. Okay, you know what? I wasn't expecting that. Um, but, sweet. So we have a Tepic with, uh, freaking adaptability. I'm pretty sure they all get their hidden abilities. Even though Tepic's hidden ability is not adaptability normally. It's normally reckless, I think. 
the death ability seems a little bit strong, but I guess we'll have to roll with it. I know Snivy gets Contrary, so I could Tail Whip this, but hers probably has Contrary, and I'll just be giving it a defense boost. Let's see what else. Oh, um, and Samurott's actually a fighting type in this game, and then Superior is Grass Dragon. So, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of type differences. I always found Samurott pretty boring anyways, but in this, I like it a lot more. I think Duwat's such a great starter, but then it ruins it by becoming Samurott. It's honestly really sad, because Duwat had a lot of potential. I'm probably going to beat this Oshawott. I almost lost to Snivy, but now I'm a level above, so it should be pretty easy. Now this game's probably gonna get really hard. I lost about 60 Pokemon when I did Renegade Platinum, and uh, hopefully this goes a little bit better, but <laughs> no promises. Gen 5 was always like one of the hardest generations in general, like not even through this hack, just in general, which I really liked about Gen 5. Um, one of the harder games. That and Platinum, I think, were the two hardest. But all we have to do is go to Bianca's house, and then we can get moving. It's a pretty quick starting from any other Pokemon game. We don't even have to do any backtracking, we just go right into the game. Um, there's also one thing I need to do after this episode ends, and that's get the National Pokedex. Because, like I said, every Pokemon from every region is going to be in here, and since the Unividex does not have all of those, I'm going to need to, um, give myself the National Pokedex, but I'll do that in between. I'm also going to name every Pokemon, and I completely forgot that I was going to do that, and I didn't have a name for this Tepig. What should I name it? Uh, let's name it Pumbaa, because I can't think of anything else, and I, I don't really want to spend too much time thinking of a name. My names were never too inspired when I did Renegade Platinum anyways, so it won't be much different. So a lot of the items we get are different too, because I'm pretty sure we'll get the bike and the super rod. Oh, wait, we already have the bike. My mom just gave it to us. I wasn't really paying attention when that happened. Yeah, so we have the bike now. And I'm pretty sure she's going to give us something. Town map. Yeah, okay. That's it. But I did look up a few of the early changes. Alright, so we can just go to Route 1 now. I'm not sure we get our Pokeballs immediately, but I think we do. And we can just go straight into getting our first encounter. You know, people usually hate on uh, friendly starters, but I think Shiren's pretty cool. Like, as a, as a rival. He's not, like, overly nice like the stupid let's go Pikachu rival, but he's not, like, he's not, like, how. I feel like Shiren's a happy medium between friendly starter and, uh, asshole starter. <laughs> or rival, not starter. Okay, we already have our Pokeballs. We're gonna get our first encounter on Route 1. Um, there's probably not too many great Pokemon on Route 1, but like I said, all the Pokemon stats are changed, so no matter what we get, it won't be that bad. Of course, there is stuff that is better than others, which, you know, but no matter what, I'm sure what I get will be okay. I also need to get Tepig to learn Ember. Wait, does it already have Ember? It already has Ember, never mind. I need Ember just because I have Adaptability. It's a neutral nature, which is pretty okay. Would have been better if it was adamant or something, but you gotta take what you can get. It's not minus attack, and that's all that matters. Lillipup is our first encounter. Lillipup's great. Like, Stoutland's probably one of the best early game Pokemon 
that you can get in any game. Like even Lily Pop or, or when, once it evolves into Hurtier is just really strong. So I'm complete. I'm really happy with Lily Pop. I'm gonna name it after my cousin's dog, Grace. Okay, it's quiet, which is not a great nature. It's minus speed up special attack. But, oh well, at least it's not minus attack. I mean, minus speed is pretty bad, but... Yeah, it's, it's not a great nature. Vital Spirit, that's an alright ability. Okay, we have to battle N right away after... Like, as our first battle. I don't know. I hope he doesn't have, like... He might be a bit strong, so I might have to go down and... I mean, usually he only has his level 5. What does he have? Like, a Perlon or something? I'm sure it won't be too bad. I, I can just go straight into fighting him. Since these ladies keep stop talking, we can just leave and go battle N. Um, I don't know exactly how difficult this game will be, like for each trainer. I, I, if it's anything like, like Renegade Platinum, it'll be pretty bad. But even in Renegade Platinum, the early battles against um, against important trainers weren't that bad, so we should be fine against N. So male. I don't even know what the point of male is. I can't believe they actually kept male until Gen 5. Like, no one used it in Gen 3. What, what prompted them to put it back in the game in Gen 5? So we get to go <laughs> and watch uh, Getsis' nice speech that he gives to all of Accumula Town. I guess this was probably one of the scarier villains in uh, Pokemon, especially since he tries to actually kill you in Black 2 and White 2. I don't know, him and Cyrus were pretty cool. Lysander, he was alright, he was kind of lame though. Plus he just ends up blowing himself up. Plus his his ideals didn't make any sense. I mean, neither did Getsis, but Getsis just wants to control the world. He's not even following his own whatever he's talking about. Only N really cares about that. I like how he's chastising us for confining Pokemon to Pokeballs, but what is he use in his, what is he using right now? Okay, Ninkata. I could just switch. His bug bite. That's pretty strong actually. And that's Harden. That's gonna be annoying, I might have to switch. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. I can just use a potion. I did just buy a bunch of them. Let's try to get Grace leveled up. Use two potions. This really wasn't worth it. I just should have switched to Pepe. It would be funny if he crit me on that turn. It would definitely be uh, a lot like Renegade Platinum if that happened. And Mankey. Definitely have to switch now. Ember should be able to take this out. That did a lot less than I was hoping it would. I mean, Tepic Special Attack isn't that- ooh, Perfect Burn. Tepic Special Attack isn't super high, but it does have adaptability, so... I did get leered once, but should be fine. Of course he gets hardened. Oh wait, wait, that doesn't matter, I'm using Ember. Okay, that wasn't that bad. We're actually gonna get another encounter pretty much right away on Route 2. 
I hope there, I don't know exactly how many encounters we get in this game, but hopefully it's similar to Renegade Platinum. Considering I lost 60 Pokemon in Renegade Platinum, filled two entire boxes of dead Pokemon, hopefully we get enough to replace how many I'm going to lose in this game. We'll leave Grace in front, um, just so it can get some XP. And a lot of the items that that um, he's given to the that the people give to you have been changed too. So I'm gonna have to check around. I feel like this guy gives me a Pokeball. I don't think there's anything else in Accumula Town. Wait, can we run? <laughs> I like how we have the bike, but not the running shoes. I'm glad they removed the concept of the running shoes in the newer games. Like, it never really made sense that you needed shoes to be able to run. Alright, and your mom calls you even though she just followed you here. Alright, now we have the running shoes. Um, we're probably just gonna get our encounter and then... And then head back and heal. Patrat, that's not great. Uh, not because Patrat's not great, well, kind of because Patrat's not great, but because... Um, I already have a normal type, and... oh my god. I already have a normal type, I much would have rather to get a... What's it called? A purloin. <laughs> a purloin. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're a purloin here. Can you stay in the ball, please? I can't hit it again, or it'll die. You know what? I have Pumbaa. Let's make let's add Timon right now. Wait, just kidding, it's female. Uh Tiffany. Not really roommate related to Timon, but. It's, uh, it starts with T, and that's what my mind was on at the time. Careful. That's an alright nature. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use it right now. I might end up using it if Grace dies, but for now, we'll just stick with using Lily Pup. Okay, well, that was pretty productive, I guess. We finished the entire early game. There's the pearl one I wanted. Of course, there is shiny claws, so can we go away? No. I have to switch. So if I ever find a shiny while walking around, I can catch that as a bonus encounter. I have to go back and heal again because of this pearl one. I'm just gonna have to kill it. Why are they so high level? Yeah, I have to go back and heal again. Oh well, this is a perfect time to end this episode. Uh, I'll be back next time. We'll explore all of Route 2 and then we'll head to Stryotent City and get our first badge. So yeah, see you next time.